Hello, and welcome to Synchronize. Today we'll be going over how to distribute a file with email. To distribute a file from Synchronize using email, hover over any file and click the menu arrow. Then select print slash email. The next screen that appears will be determined by the type of file you are working with. If the file is a PDF or image file, the watermark slash distribute PDF file screen will appear. If the file is a PDF, the pages to include section will be present and will allow you to select a print range to distribute instead of the whole file. This page range refers to the pages of the PDF and not, for instance, the pages of a script. Selecting email as individual files will email the files to the recipients that have been preloaded to the distribution list or selected as individuals. When using email, each individual recipient will get their own email. Files must not exceed the size limitations of the recipient's email provider. Synchronize gives a warning at 7.5 megabytes and above. The checkbox for Include Watermark and PDF Protection will be pre-selected depending on the options of the file upon upload. You can then determine the watermark selection for the Line 1 and Line 2 sections. We suggest using Recipient Name for Line 1 for added security on your files. Next, select the recipients using the available distribution lists and or individuals in the system. You can use the search box to locate specific recipients. You must select at least one recipient or distribution list to send a distribution. Other file types will present different options. For instance, an image file will allow for the same options as a PDF, except for page selection and printing ability. For any document that is not a PDF or image file, only unwatermarked file distribution will be available. Once finished, click the Next button. The Email Distribution dialog will let you check your recipients and the attachment. Recipients can be reviewed by using the Recipients drop-down. Individuals can be removed using this screen by clicking the green check icons. The attachments can also be reviewed by clicking the Attachments drop-down. If you need to add an additional recipient, click the Back button and any message that you have already started writing will be saved. You can adjust the from name in the distribution, which will determine the name that is visible to the recipient. Regardless of this selection, email replies will always be sent to the email address that is currently logged in. Fill out your subject line, message, and signature. Your signature is sticky and will be remembered next time you send an email distribution. To send a test email, click the Test Email button. This will allow you to review the exact contents of the communication, both in content and format, before emailing everyone on the recipient's list. If everything looks good, send the email by clicking the Send Email button. After you distribute the email, you will receive an email distribution summary to your inbox. This serves as a receipt that your email has gone out and a quick reference for the contents and what distribution list was chosen for the email. In addition, when you are the sender of an email, any responses to that email will go to your inbox as well. And now we know how to distribute a file using email in Synchronize. Thanks for watching.